Hello everyone, it's me, Cole, from the band The Swimmers. Uh, I just wanted to uh, make a statement to our fans. I'm so sorry that it took so long. Now I've prepared a written statement uh, that's really, I think, going to explain things. Okay, so let me just get into it. Incorrect adjustment of garage door travel limits will interfere with proper operation of safety reversal system. So, um, I hope you guys can understand why it took me so long. As you can see, I'm filming at an angle and I'm just like hanging out. This is, you know, just us preparing and doing our thing. Can you keep it down out there, school bus? Fuck! Imagine a flaming train flying down the tracks at full speed and then just going off the rails, huge explosion, you're witnessing the entire thing like it's a scene out of Super 8. Would you A, think uh, maybe we should try and help? Once the collision is over, we need to try and rebuild. There's got to be something here that we can do to help the people in some way. Or would you B, whip out a can of gasoline and start pouring it everywhere when there's already a fire? Well, according to the band Swimmers, it's option B because they've taken to their Instagram page with an apology that has to be the worst and most out of touch thing that I have ever seen from a band apology ever. Sorry this has taken so long. If you're not familiar with the entire situation, here's the TLDR. Swimmers were a band, or I guess I can say are a band. It's now just the brothers Max and Cole Becker. They have been together for a very long time. They'd had other names like Emily's Army. You might know them for also having a member, Joey Armstrong, who used to be their drummer. Well, he's Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day's son, and he was accused by Lydia Knight of the band The Regrets of sexual coercion and emotional abuse, and it was all while she was underage. I was actually 16. For a band that built their entire image on having a safe space at their shows, and they tried to be very forward-thinking progressive, inclusive, whatever you want to call yourselves, well, obviously, fans felt entirely betrayed when it turns out the band had been keeping this under wraps. Deflect, deflect, deflect seems to be the mantra of swimmers, and it's continued yet again. Let's go ahead and get into this apology video because it is just absurd to even think that they made this, put it out, and it's really just Cole talking off of a piece of paper like there's a gun to his head off screen, and also Max just sits there the entire fucking time. An open letter to all of our fans. Dear you. Dear you? Is this the name of a Megan Trainer song? Sorry this has taken so long. It's just been hard to find the right words to say. Early in the pandemic, it was clear to me that we wouldn't be playing shows anytime soon. We had other things to focus on, and so we put swimmers on the back burner. Max, my brother, and the leader of the band, was recovering from a spate of injuries that he suffered from a car crash in 2019. Yeah, that was a really bad car crash. Nobody is trying to downplay that. It's the fact that you're basically trying to push it off and say, oh, swimmers were already going into a state of hiatus. It's not about the abuse allegations at all. And I just, I fail to see how, like, the first few minutes of this video offer anything other than fucking excuse after excuse. Everything seemed to make his head hurt. The sound of the dishes being washed, the television in the other room, why does this read like somebody who tried to write poetry for their fifth grade talent show? The television in the other room. The sound of the dishes being washed. It's all, where are we going with this? When you watch somebody you love suffer a physical trauma that is so all-consuming, your priorities shift. See, here's the setup. I wasn't really thinking about the band anymore. Oh, you weren't. You weren't thinking about the band at all. Joey Armstrong dating underage girls. That's the last thing on my mind, okay? My brother is in the hospital. Again, I don't mean to sound so ridiculously insensitive. That's not what I'm trying to do. It's just that I, I, I have to make a joke there or else I'm going to go insane because I feel like I'm watching this unravel and I'm like, how did you watch this back and say, all right, 
I'm gonna hit post on that. In July 2020, my friend and the drummer of Swimmers, Joey Armstrong, was accused of emotional abuse and sexual coercion by somebody that he had dated years before. I feel so uncomfortable just with them even sitting there reading this so stale like it's off of a fucking piece of cardboard. They were not the same age when they dated. <laughs> you don't he say. Was 22, she was 17. I was actually 16. But nonetheless, the accusations came as a shock to me. Lydia was somebody that we considered a friend. Okay, the accusations came as a shock to you, but you're already admitting that you know how old she was at the time, which 17 is still underage, but go on. When I first heard that she was going to call Joey out, I immediately called her. I remembered that Joey and her had met up months before to discuss their relationship after the fact. So here he's saying that they knew ahead of time that Joey was going to be put on blast publicly and they still came out with the most god-awful responses that you will ever find. And it was going well until she made light of my brother's car wreck and suggested that we could post about the regrets on our Instagram story to prevent her from going public with her accusations. So you're saying that Lydia held your brother's brain injury hostage and wanted you to post her band's song to your Instagram story so that she wouldn't talk? I got the worst of fucking attorneys. At which point I had to step away from the situation. Right, because you were so preoccupied with your brother. Right, you weren't even thinking about the band. The details were embellished to make it appear worse than it was. I was there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I can we can we talk about the fact that this is being read like it's a book report in front of the class? I remember when he spent Mother's Day with her family. <laughs> what an important detail is just just trying to set up the fact that wow, I you know, I saw everything in their relationship, guys. He's setting it up here to say that, you know, he knows for a fact that things didn't happen because what? You followed them every second and every step of the relationship. Step by step, day by day. Max and Cole watching Joey not get laid. Because they didn't have sex, right? As such, I was confused when she claimed that, she, that he forced her to keep the relationship a secret. Everyone involved in both of their lives knew about it. Let's play a game of whose fault could it be? Is it A, every adult in the room, or B, the minor, the child? There was no accusation of sexual assault, and yet the statement was written to make it appear that Joey was a sexual predator. Maybe he wasn't a good boyfriend, but he is not a sexual predator. Maybe they shouldn't have dated. But they did. At the time, it felt wrong for me to interject, given that I'm neither Joey nor his ex-girlfriend. There's the, oh, it wasn't me. It wasn't my situation, so who am I to speak on it? But the discrepancies were too glaring for me to take her side over his. I wasn't going to condemn my friend. You know, if it was a situation where it was something like we've seen many times before, where there is so much gray area, but this is a relationship that was built on something that is literally illegal. And considering that Lydia has already said before and has said again since then, and we will get to her response to this video, but this is a situation where Lydia had called out the fact that, no, I'm not talking about penetration in terms of sex. We're talking about oral sex, which is still sex. We started getting death threats. Private information about our lives was being passed around casually by people who felt betrayed by us. You are not the victim here, guys. Jesus. And, and what are you looking at right there, Max? Is there a fucking bird outside that's more important? Joey and Seb have both stepped away from the band to grow their personal lives. Oh, there we are. To, the, to grow in their personal lives. We are currently, let's see, six minutes and 39 seconds into this video right now. And that's how long it took to even really get into the meat of it. Now, out of morbid curiosity, let's go ahead and look at the regrets ban Twitter where Lydia Knight has given an official response to this. And, oh, buddy, prep yourself. You're not ready because she's angry. And I think rightfully fucking so. How dare you? Honestly, how fucking dare you sit there and not only use your brother's near-death experience as a way to gain sympathy votes before going into victim blaming and gaslighting me once again. 
Yeah. Um, how mm. dare you lie about the fact that I was actually 16. There was statutory rape. He had me give him oral sex as a minor. Like that I said. Sex. Yes. Um, whatever people call him, I don't have control over that. I don't have control over if you feel canceled or not by the situation. All I have control over is me speaking my truth and trying to heal, but I'm done talking about it. I'm done. I'm fucking done. And go make your fucking music. I don't give a <laughs> shit. Just please. Just fuck off. I've never seen an artist that claims to be so progressive, be so unraveling in the way that they try to do anything even remotely surrounding an apology. And I have to keep putting apology in air quotes because I don't think this counts as an apology. God, this has been one of the largest doses of pure unadulterated cringe that I have been indoctrinated with in quite some time. It was genuinely hard to watch the swimmers video and just seeing this situation even come apart at the seams even more than it already had two plus years later how do you fuck up this badly where is your publicist where is your heart and where is any genuine disdain for the situation like what happened between your drummer your bandmate where is the responsibility that you should be taking and saying this in some way not all of it was on us i really don't want to talk about swimmers anymore so i'm passing it over to you guys let me know in the comments section down below do you think the swimmers are actually going to put out more music and tour do you think that it'll be successful i think i know the answer to the question but i'll leave it to you if you want to check out my first video on the situation then that's on screen hit the like button and i'll see you guys soon for more on beyond artv